I'm happy I'm here, and um, it's very um, touching for me to see you and to attend this event. Uh, <clears throat> I've been talking in public for like um, 12 years. Um, I never cried, and uh, I was always told that I am strong and um, like, inspiring. Uh, I am brave and I have strength. Um, I never knew why that was taught to me, but <clears throat> um, some people, when they uh, and when I ask why are you saying that I am strong, they tell me because I don't cry. Um, uh, I was gang raped in a protest uh, against the Islamic um, regime back in Egypt in 2012, and. Uh, I spoke about it on national TV and uh, with my face and my name and I said I'm not ashamed that this happened to me as usual because that's how people think about getting raped and um, emulated and like stripped naked in public by force. Um, I was even compared to Alia El Mahdi, she's a friend of mine and she was um, she put herself a photo for herself naked online and uh, there was a big um, comparison between Making someone naked uh, on, like um, in public, or someone taking them clothes uh, by their own will in public, and um, it was accepted to um, attack women and strip them naked, um, and it wasn't accepted that they take their clothes off, and um, it was um, it was uh, women who who are to be blamed for uh, getting attacked sexually. It was them. Um, um, that they wanted to be like the Islamic clerics on um, on the TV back then were were saying that women uh, who get raped in Tahrir Square are um, widows, Christians. Um, they're divorced. They want sex. That's why they go there. Um, and the public opinion was saying why why a woman would go there. She wanted to have that. Um, I had a positive reaction being told I'm strong because I went, um, I, t I spoke about it, and um, I was. Um, I was the reason to have uh, a law against sexual harassment for women, against uh, people in Egypt. And um, uh, I never spoke in that context. I never spoke about Islam I, like, um, in a direct way. It was always the answer. <laughs> It was always the answer that comes back to me when I speak about my life, my rights um, to exist, to speak, to whatever I want, even to walk, uh, ride a bicycle, whatever. The answer I get from pub public um, was, God says no, it's forbidden. So the Islam was uh, answering me. So when I went in public, it wasn't me speaking about it. It was me speaking about myself and the audience is the Islam answering me. And this is the first time ever in my life to have the audience on my side. And uh, It's, uh, I, I, it's uh, my first time in, the, in this kind of context, and um, I, it's uh, very powerful to me. Like now, I'm saying that I feel power from the people, not the people telling me that I'm strong. Like I'm getting now the support. I'm not giving the support, and you didn't really support me, but it's like on purpose. But you did just by being here, just by doing this, just by speaking. It feels like I am watching you 
although I'm speaking to you now. Uh, so just having this feeling of uh, um, people, like many people who understand me without speaking, like we start on a common ground, is new for me and is very uh, overwhelming. And um, I didn't get the chance to speak with many people. I just arrived last night, but it's still uh, overwhelming though, uh, so far without getting someone telling me any good words, just by your existence. So I'm so thankful. I'm invited here. I thank, thank you, Magnus, for introducing to me to Mariam. And thank you, Mariam, for inviting me. Um, I also, um, last thing I was uh, I wanted to talk about that you spoke about was the Western feminism who failed us. Because when I moved here, uh, when I moved here, um, it should, uh, the expectations was that these people will understand me, not the people in my country, not uh, the communities that have lived uh, all over my life. I'm 42. And, um, and um, it was very surprising for me to find that the Western feminism or um, politicians or human rights activists uh, defending uh, Islam and the left wing. Um, saying that it's a choice, uh, if a woman is wearing hijab, it's her choice that um, we should not talk about. And um, if I speak about a young girl uh, from a migrant family and talk about her lives, they say I'm racist. So it was so surprising for me to find this happening here. And um, also to have the same feeling that they don't understand me. And they need to see, I mean here, they need to see more crimes from Islam to understand me. To understand me. They don't understand me just by speaking to them. They need to see terror, they need to see more crime rate, they need to see more uh, uh, women get killed or um, attacked or oppressed to understand me. They don't understand me by my words. So this, uh, I heard you talking about how Western feminists uh, failed us. When I speak about hijab, this Western feminist lady tells me I should not talk about what women wear. But I ask her, why is it allowed for the cleric to talk what she, what she wears? Like, you're stopping me, but you're not stopping the priest, you're not stopping the cleric when they say what women should wear, but you stop me when I say what women should wear. What hijab means, that it's objectifying her, that's whatever my opinion is. So if you want to stop me, I agree I shouldn't say what she should wear, but stop him first because I am, an reac I'm a re I am a reaction. And if you say that these girls are choosing to wear it, give, her, give them choices, like let me speak, if you let him speak. So this woman or this girl had, made, like, had the chance to make a choice and you are free now to say that you should respect her choice. But if you allow one sound and then say that she chose to wear it, then you are such a oppress oppressive like, like my country, like Islam, and it's for your political win, and you are even not winning politically. So thank you. And I made it talking to Muhammad. Um, like I have, I have him here for you. The prophet, yeah, he's here for you. And I was just say, answer that I'm asking him these questions in Arabic, unfortunately. So, but at least you can see him here.
وليه حطيت في دماغها انها متخلفة ليه خليت الأنثى حلوة متغلفة وليه حطيت في دماغها انها متخلفة يا يا محمد يا محمد يا يا محمد يا محمد يا كل الناس بسببك مش حاسين بالامل خليت الناس عمر جرايم كانت من زمان كل الناس بسببك مش حاسين بالامل خليت الناس عمر جرايم كانت من زمان يا محمد يا محمد يا ياللي خرجت تلات حضرات بيت مسحور وصبعت بصمة صور مية تلمسهم ياللي خرجت تلات حضرات بيت مسحور وصبعت بصمة صور غير مية تلمسهم كل الناس بسببك مش حاسين بالأمان Amen. Mm-hmm.